Здравствуйте, мои дорогие друзья! Hello, my dear friends! Welcome to Russia! And today I'm going to teach you some Russian. Actually, we're going to talk about aspects in the Russian grammar. By the way, aspect is something which doesn't exist in English. Well, in Russian there are three tenses, just three. Past, present and future. That's it. Only three. And in English there are twelve. However, in Russian there are aspects. And you know, they somehow help us to differentiate between different subtenses in English. Like continuous, perfect continuous. What's the difference, yeah? And so on. So in Russian there are two aspects. Imperfective and perfective. You see that perfective looks like perfect and there is some connection here because imperfective actions, imperfect or imperfective verbs that describe um, ongoing, continuous, repeated or reversed actions. And perfective verbs describe actions which have been completed. And by the way, usually successfully. Now, once again, as for tenses, they are used to tell us when an action happened and aspects tell us whether the action was completed. So that's the job of the aspect. Once again, imperfective verbs describe ongoing, continuous, repeated or reversed actions. And perfective verbs describe actions which have been completed successfully. Let's take a look at one pair. Читать, прочитать. Look at it. They mean read, to read. Читать, прочитать. But the first one is imperfective. Читать. And the second one is perfective. Прочитать. So, if you say Вчера я читал for male книгу or for female читала ending a. Вчера я читал книгу. Вчера я читала книгу. So you mean that you were reading a book yesterday. It's a continuous action. But if you say я прочитал книгу for male, я прочитала книгу for female, you had read this book up till end. So the action had been completed successfully and it's very important. So you can't translate the sentence вчера я прочитала книгу like I read the book yesterday because the action should be completed. I had read the book yesterday. Of course, there are more pairs and usually when there is an imperfective verb, it has a pair. You might ask yourself, how can I define? What kind of verb am I dealing with? What kind of aspect am I dealing with? Well, there are a couple of things which might help. As for perfective verbs, they usually have a prefix like по, про, пере, при, в, о или об, на, у, с. However, there are some verbs which have such prefixes, but they are imperfect. Let's have a look at the example. Прочитывать. So, читать imperfective, прочитать perfective, прочитывать, прочитывать again imperfective. So here there is a suffix and it's also important. Imperfective verbs also have some suffixes like ива, ва, а. Examples. Рассматривать, ивать, да? рассматривать, открывать, открывать, 
What else? Спасать. Спасать. So you can see the suffixes ива, ива, а inside these verbs. So the suffixes which can demonstrate us that this is an imperfective verb like here, прочитывать. However, it's hard to memorize. It's hard to differentiate, to find the suffixes and prefixes which might tell you 100% that this is an imperfective verb or imperfective one. And that's why when you memorize a verb in Russian, try to remember which aspect it is. So you might also check yourself using a dictionary, a Russian dictionary, uh, in Russian, by the way. Uh, it will be better. And let's say imperfective in Russian is несовершенный вид. Imperfective – это несовершенный вид. Perfective – совершенный вид. Once again, imperfective – несовершенный вид. Perfective – совершенный вид. So, for example, читать несовершенный вид, прочитать совершенный вид. So, check yourself if you are not sure, you might also always use a dictionary and try to memorize the aspect together with the verb itself. Now, let's take a look at some more pairs for you to memorize. Делать, сделать, do or make. Говорить, Поговорить, сказать, speak or say. Посылать, послать, send, to send. Высылать, выслать, to deport. Понимать, понять, to understand. Прощать, простить, forgive, to forgive. Покупать, купить, to buy. Look at this verb. It's an exception. Покупать with the prefix. It's imperfective. Купить without prefix. It's perfective. Next one. Брать, взять. To take. Достигать, достигнуть. To reach. Опаздывать, опоздать. To be late. Okay, here I should also add that the aspect is important when we deal with the past or future tenses. Because as for present tense, we can use only imperfective verbs. Here only imperfective. As for perfective verbs, they are used only in the past or in the future. And let's take the verb прочитать. We can say я прочитал книгу, я прочитала книгу for female, female. So, I have read the book, so I have already done that. In Russian, it's past. So, when the action happened, it's the past tense in Russian. So, something has happened. It's the past tense, not present, like in English. When the action has been completed already, it doesn't matter whether it has just finished. Still, it is the past in Russian. So that's why я прочитала книгу, even if I have just done that, I have just turned the last page, it's still the past. I can also say я прочитаю книгу. I will read this book. I will have read this book. So, you see, I'm sure that I'm going to finish the action, complete the action successfully. This is a perfective verbs. Прочитать. And this is future. Будущее время. So, and we can't use прочитать in the present tense. We should say Читать, in this case, in the present. Я читаю книгу. Now I'm reading the book. Or a general sentence. Я читаю 
одну книгу в месяц. So I read one book a month. As an example, a repeated action should be described by an imperfective verb. As for future, imperfective verbs have a complex future form. So we need to use an additional verb, which is быть, to be, быть. Я буду, ты будешь, он будет, она будет. Они будут. Вы будете. So the whole sentence. Я буду читать. Я буду читать по три книги в месяц. I will read three books a month next year. В следующем году. So once again, as for future, imperfective verbs have a complex future form. So we need to use an additional verb to be, быть. Our sentence Я буду читать Я буду читать по три книги в месяц. I will read three books a month next year. So we say Я буду читать We change the form according to persons and single and plural forms, but as for perfective verbs, they use simple future forms. Я прочитаю, я посмотрю, я сделаю, я открою, and so on. You see that we do not need an additional verb, быть, to be. So, Today I just wanted you to get acquainted with this idea of the Russian aspects. So that's it for today. At the end of this class you will have a short exercise, check the description box. Your job is to translate these sentences and also define the aspects of the verbs included into the sentences. And All of the verbs should be defined whether they are imperfective or perfective. Please do the exercise, do this practice. It's very important. And to sum up, I just want to say that all might seem very confusing. But to tell the truth, when Russian people start studying English, everything also looks very confusing, believe me and very difficult, so you're not alone and Russian is not the hardest language in the world, it's not true. So your job is to be strong, motivated, remember about the reasons you have for studying the language and just uh, keep going, okay? So continue studying Russian with me or without me and I hope to see you soon. Bye!